you guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are going to be playing with another lip powder, but this one is completely different. It is actually called a lip shadow. It is not near as expensive as the Dior powder lipsticks, and this is by Clinique. I was kind of shocked when I saw this. A few of you guys were tweeting me photos. I hadn't seen this online at all, so thank you to you guys for letting me know about this crazy product because it is something very, very different. And I don't exactly think of Clinique as the trendiest makeup. So this is kind of uh, interesting that they brought out something so not normal, you know? Like this is not like your everyday average lipstick. We're gonna see if this turns out to be something incredible or not. When you open up the box, it just looks like this. It looks like one of those smudgy things that you would like put on your eyeshadow with. Maybe you would smudge out a cream liner and kind of smoke your eyes up. So the applicator is really kind of strange for a lip product. It's actually a sponge tip. So that immediately made me kind of go, ooh. Why? You get that component and then, it took me a minute, like the first one I opened up, I was like, how, how does this work? Like, how do you twist it up? Like, I don't understand. And I spent a few minutes doing that. And then I looked in the box and realized that if you do that, more things come out. I quickly realized that there is another lid that you need to open up and put on this guy separately. I have not tried any of these out. I think I got every single shade. I got Fun Pop, Fiesta Pop, Fuchsia Pop, Brown Sugar Pop, Bright Pop, Dune Pop, Blossom Pop, and Crimson Pop. So we could do some really good swatches. I bought these myself. They are $19.50 a piece. We're gonna see if this is marvelous or awful. Oh, that's not a powder. What the hell? What is this? Okay, I'm kind of figuring this out for like the first time ever. Did I just spend all of that money on a product that is actually literally just lipstick with a sponge applicator? Are you effing kidding me? It's called a lip powder. I mean, I guess it kind of is powdery once I kind of wipe it around. It seems to me that this is the reverse of the powders that turn into a lipstick. I did that video, I will link it below. But this seems to be a liquid that magically turns into a powder. Okay, I was disappointed. Now I'm curious. Now I'm kind of excited. My emotions are all over the place. So what we're gonna do is zoom in a little bit closer. I'm gonna play with a few of the shades and then wear them all day long. You guys know the drill. We'll take it from there. We'll see if this is good, if it's not, and everything in between. I'm glancing down at all eight shades of the lip shadows and none of them are particularly nude or neutral. I mean, this one right here kind of is. I'm gonna try that one first just to kind of, you know, see how the most neutral one looks. And then I think I'm gonna go for the red to wear all day long. But I do wanna point out, this is what my hand looks like swatched. A few of them did come out way more creamy than others. And, you know, these over here kind of swatched out really, really light. This one was very patchy, which concerns me. That is the shade Fun Pop, it just, this color in general is so hard to do in any form, liquid lips, lipstick, matte lip, and it just looks really patchy. These looked really, really creamy, almost too creamy, and they're not really drying down, whereas the rest of them have turned to powder. So I don't know, just really interesting, I guess. Okay, we're ready to go in with the first shade, the most neutral shade. This is shade one, and it is called Dune Pop. So the cushion tip is completely saturated in the color that is in the lid and we're just gonna go in. This is not, it's not that easy to work with. Mm, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this color rocking your world? Because to me, it looks kind of boring and it's not doing much for me. I don't know that I love it. So uh, let's play with the red. All right, we're gonna try the shade Crimson Pop. And I feel like if you really like kind of do this action and really try to get that tip saturated, it's gonna work better. And then this time I'm gonna start on the lower and then do kind of the more detailed work after. Ooh, that is a really pretty red. This applicator is giving me anxiety and panic and it is really hard to work with. I keep thinking that I'm just gonna go completely out of the line because the point on here is not 
Like you don't get a lot of a point to really work with those edges. So I'm finding this a little challenging. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is pretty messy and hard to apply. Now, the texture of the product on my mouth feels really nice. I was surprised that this does go on a little bit patchy. It is grabbing darker in areas and for a matte, cream product like this. I wasn't expecting that. And when it swatched out, it swatched out really beautifully. So that was kind of interesting, but it just, do you see how it just kind of looks kind of sloppy? Like it just looks sloppy. I want things to be way more precise than this. Okay. I'm going to have to go in with concealer and kind of try to fix this a little bit. All right, class. So where I am at is a little bit frustrated. I feel like the reason that you would purchase this item is because maybe the applicator would make it easier to apply. Now this did take extra effort. I had to clean up. I had to go in with a lip brush and sharpen, which really defeats the purpose of the cool applicator itself, in my opinion. So I'm already kind of eh, a little bit annoyed with this item, but I did want to give it a fair shot. I wanted to swatch all of the colors for you guys. If you were curious about them, you know, and I am going to see how this wears now that it is on my lips. We're going to leave it. That was a lot of work. I don't think that I have the courage to really try every other color on for you. So I apologize for that, but I will let you know how many hours we get out of this because it's not a liquid lip. It's not like it's not transfer proof. You know, this is going to come off with food and water and just, you know, I don't think it's going to be incredibly long wearing. And the issue with that is I think it would be a pain in the neck to reapply on top. It'd be like the whole process all over again, but we're going to do that together. All right. So I will see you guys as this has worn off in a little bit. <laughs> average day in the Westbrook household. So I have my fabulous um, box opener. A subscriber sent this to me and I freaking love it. It terrifies James, but it's okay. It's beautiful and I'll be safe. Uh, so I'm gonna open this guy right here. I'm so excited. You'll see why in a second. I gotta set this down to do this. This is so nice. So this is from Laura's Boutique and um, here is her Snapchat, and I want to show you what's funny. Do we notice the pants again? I know these are my most worn pants ever. They're so comfortable. They work with everything. They make me feel good, and they don't lose their shape, and I just love them. So Laura's Boutique, these are the pants. I am wearing my nude pumps. These are not Louboutin. Those are uncomfortable. What are these? These are YSL and I actually really love how comfy they are. These are designer shoes, but they go with everything. I've worn them a ton and they, um, of course are great quality. And then my camo top is Laura Buche Muche. Oh my gosh. I'll put it in the description. There is a designer here in Beverly Hills and she does really cool artwork as well. And some of her art is printed on the back of the shirts. And I just really love this. Oh my goodness. So I now have a denim pair that does not have the holes in the knee. I'm so excited about this because the fit just works. It's like nice and stretchy and I love it. This is super cute. I will definitely be wearing this in an upcoming video because thank you God, it has finally gotten a little bit colder here in California. So thank you, Laura, so much. I love it all. And now when you see me in the same pants, you'll know I have backup. And it's not the same pair over and over and over. All right, guys. So I've had the red lip on for maybe a solid like four hours. It's still on. It's actually extremely long wearing. I just think the application was really awful, but it does feel completely like a powder now. Oh, I was like thinking there wasn't going to be transfer when I did that, but there is. Um, I've eaten, I have had coffee and it's still there. What does James think? What does James think? On a scale of one to 10 of the lipsticks I've seen you wear, I put this like at a four. Why? It's just not that impressive. There's nothing. I mean, it's lipstick. It's just, I feel like you're just, it's, you're meeting the bare minimum. Of what? Of lipstick. But what does that mean? It's not impressive. So you're saying that I look bad? No, I'm just saying it's not wowing me. I'm not looking at you going, oh my God, look at your lips. I'm just like, okay, she's got lipstick on. You've checked the box. <laughs> This 
product is getting a thumbs up for the longevity factor. The application is awful, and at the end of the day, it's not really any different than a lot of other red lips that I own that are long wear that apply easier. So that's where we're at. I will let you know as this finally starts patching off. It does feel like, to the touch, it does feel like powder though. Hey you guys, so I was literally just about to take off all of my makeup. I had ripped my lashes off. I already like put out the cleanser. I was prepared to shut the day down. I'm in my pajamas. And then I was like, hey, I forgot to do a final checkout. So here is what we are dealing with. There is quite a stain left behind on the lips, but you know, it just didn't impress me through and through 20 bucks for a product that I feel is not an improvement over a typical tube of lipstick just doesn't get a thumbs up from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed me swatching, trying, testing out this kind of new item. I know in my mind, I really did think it was more of an actual powder. So that was just kind of, I don't know, kind of a little bit of a bummer, like straight out the gate, but yeah, this is it. This is what finally was left behind and there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys are having a good one. I'm gonna get to getting the rest of my makeup off and go to bed. So whatever you are doing, wherever you are, I'm sending you love and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.